Hey guys and welcome, my name is Marielle. So I'm new to the YouTube community and today I am doing a Zoffel bikini haul. There's about seven bikinis in this haul um, and they're all different styles. So just a little background on myself. I am a yoga teacher and work in the fine art industry and have started this just because trying on bikinis is probably one of the more annoying things I find myself doing, whether it's the side ties, diaper looking bathing suits, and the fact that you can't return most bathing suits. And for me, that's huge. Like I wanna be able to have the comfort of knowing if I spend $200 on a bathing suits, then maybe I can get $100 back. So hopefully this will help you guys. And another reminder, everybody's bodies are different. Below I have posted my measurements as well as the size of the bikinis and the links to these specific bathing suits. So again, remembering everyone's body is different. I do have cellulite and I am not in as good of shape as I typically am due to the COVID situation. So let's have some fun and let's get started. So the first bikini I'm trying on is called Zoffel Thai Underwire Balconette Bikini. And it comes in several different colors, but the color that I got was ma mauve. I don't ever know how to say that word. Um, and the size that I got was small. So take a step back so you guys can see a little bit better. So as you guys may be able to see, it's definitely a more purple than mauve color. And also the top is very small. So most of the bathing suits that I got were in the size small. Some actually fit, some not so much. Now I love the bottoms and the bottoms do tend to be a little bit cheekier than the others. Um, and as you can see, I am a little bit bustier up top. So this top barely fits me. Not even, it doesn't fit me. My, my breasts are hanging out of the sides. So this one would probably be a no for me, but keep in mind that the bottoms, they do look great, they work really well. They are very comfortable, material-wise is great, stretchy. Um, so everything on that front is great. It's just the sizing of the top and the bottom kind of are a little bit different because I also tend to have a heavier booty set. So I love the color, I love it so much, but it's, it's not gonna work for me. So let's try on the next one. So for bathing suit number two, it is called the Zoffel Tie-Dye Knotted High Leg Tank Bikini Swimsuit. Quite a long one. Um, again, size small. This one is multicolored, as you can see. So there's several things that I really like about this one. So number one, this part right here, it does tend to leave a little bit of under boob, but the nice thing about that is that the straps are adjustable as well as the fact that they have two different strands just to give you extra support so if you do tend to be heavier set in the chest area this bathing suit is not only super comfortable but it, it holds everything in well um, and I find it to be pretty cute the colors are a little bit more bright than I had imagined and online but the bathing suit bottoms, I do have to say, are probably one of the most comfortable bathing suit bottoms that I've tried on, especially for part cheeky, part not bikinis. So we'll do frontal. So as you can see, if you're a tanner, your skin tone is a little bit more olivey like mine, it is a great choice. It does help with the popping of the color, the skin tone, etc. So overall, I would say if I was rating it out of 10, I would probably give it a 6. Um, and be just because the style isn't my favorite um, and the colors are a little too bright for me. But other than that, comfort all the way. and. I think it's, it is very cute. So each of the bathing suits that I did purchase through Zoffel had padding inside. Now I've taken the padding out um, just due to the fact, again, that I'm heavier in the chest area. So uh, taking some of that padding out just allows it to look a little bit more natural rather than having a part padding and then the rest breast. So on to the next. Alrighty guys, so for this next one, it is called Sun 
Sorry. It is called Zoffel Tie Side Underwire Ribbed Bikini Swimsuit. I got it in white and again, size small. So for those of you who look for white bathing suits, it's probably one of the most annoying things you've ever had to experience. Most of the time when I order white bathing suits, they tend to look like diapers. So the bottoms look like diapers. The top just looks weird and messed up. You can see cellulite, you can see wrinkles, you can see bumps, um, which again, I'm proud of my body and in the entirety of it, but some of us might not like that as much. So just keeping that in mind, and again, like I said, this one did have padding in it, which I took out. Um, so one of my favorite things about Zoffel's bathing suits is a lot of them have the adjustments here. So whether you want more support, more lift, that's a great added value. Um, I know a lot of new bathing suits don't really have that if they're these funky designs. Now, so this one does have a hard wire right here and it tends to slip up a little bit, but under boob is a style. So if you're into that, then more the merrier. So we'll take a step back. So the one thing I love about this bathing suit is that the bottoms do not look like diapers and it is again very comfortable material and this has a more ribbed design and elastic so it's very very comfortable but my only concern about this bathing suit is that when you come up close to the side it tends to create a crease and then your breast hangs over that crease so not my favorite white bathing suit. Now I probably will order this bathing suit in a size medium um, just to try it out. My only concern with that is that this part will be a little too loose, but it's worth a try because I really do love the style. I love the material. I love the feeling of it. The only thing is this like boob pocket I'm not too fond of. So alrighty, well, I'll take another step back. Do a little twirl. Alrighty. And on to the next. Alrighty, so this next one, here we go. So the next one is Zoffel Velvet High Leg Bikini Set. Now my boyfriend calls this velour, and of course it happens to be his favorite. Now for those of you who are into the underboob style, this bathing suit could do wonders for you. So I got it in a light pink color. The bathing suit bottoms you can't ever tell what's the front and the back because they're literally the same and it's literally like a straight triangle so you can lift these to give a, the legs a longer look and feel to them um, but again it is literally just a thin piece of cloth a top across the top pretty good lift again you've got the adjustment straps here um, which is always great, as I mentioned before. So this bathing suit, if you're into the under boob, I would suggest it. Um, and what do I keep saying? I don't know why I keep saying um, guys. So I was having a little bit of trouble with the lighting. Like I said, I am new to the YouTube um, community. So hopefully this is a little bit better. So I'll step back. It's going to auto adjust. Um, and I will do spin, spin, do like the high-waisted. So that way you get a better idea of how it looks in the light because it keeps adjust auto-adjusting. Alrighty, on to the next. Alrighty, so we are back, and we are back with a reversible leopard chili print tied cami bikini swimsuit. Woo! Again, size small, and this one probably is my least favorite of all the ones that I bought. Now, I do have to say I have another strapless bikini um, by Zoffel, and for those of you guys, again, who are larger in the chest area and are looking for more support, those, tend, those bathing suits tend to not be a good option, the strapless, but I do have to say there are a couple at Zoffel that I have found great success with. Now, this one is probably my least favorite because the colors are a little bit brighter than I would have liked, um, and the shape isn't as great as I would have liked either. Now, I do love spicy food, so the chili peppers worked out well, but if I was able to return any of these, this one would be probably the first one to go. So the bathing suit bottoms are a little bit thicker in the sides as well as just the coverage. So you get a little bit more of a full coverage 
with this bathing suit and it is reversible so the other side being a bright yellow cheetah print again not my favorite i'm not huge into the cheetah prints um and yellow is probably not my color so again here to show you guys you can probably lift these guys up a little bit to give the appearance of longer legs these tags drive me nuts um and so i will turn turn Okay, so strapless, reversible, a little bit more coverage on the bottom area, um, but also very comfortable. And it did come with a strap, but of course, like me, I lost it. So we're going strapless here. Um, but yes, so again, not my favorite. It tends to curl over a little bit. And this one, I actually kept the padding in because it was a little bit funky without the padding. So. I mean, the decision is up to you guys, but we will move on to the next. Okay guys, so on to the next. Um, ooh, my hair looks crazy. Whatever. Um, so the next one is Zoffel V-Wired Tied. Just kidding, that is not that one. So this one is Zoffel Printed Underwire Bikini, size small. So this one actually turned out to be one of my favorites, even though the print isn't my favorite, um, but I do like this one a lot. Now, it reminds me a lot of the white one, except the white one has a more ribbed texture to it, whereas this one is smoother and more bathing suit-like. Now, I tend to like the ribbed texture better, but the only difference between the two bathing suits is the bottoms that tie. These ones don't tie, but again, they are also very cheeky. And you can lift them up again to create those longer legs. And the reason I like this bathing suit more than the white one is because the side, even though it tends to make the breast come out a little bit, it's not as bad or as noticeable as the white one. So like I said before, I'll probably get the white one in a larger size uh, because I just love the material. Finally can find a white bathing suit that doesn't look like a diaper and that you can't see through, which is really nice. Now I haven't gotten it wet yet, so maybe the white bathing suit might be see-through once it's wet, but again, who cares? Um, so here's the front side. You can see a little bit of it coming over and you can loosen the straps and I noticed that that tends to help with the the push over of that. So I will take a step back and and so yeah, I do love the style. Green is my color. Um, so I am all for this bathing suit. And again, this one is the printed underwire bikini. Now I do have to say that this part right here is very hard and in some positions when you're sitting down on a boat or etc it does happen to press into this area a little bit but you could just fix that by either putting a little piece of tape just to give a little bit more cushioning um, but standing up moving around I don't have any problems with it and again it has the the adjustments here which is always nice because nobody's made the same so we will move on to the last and final bathing suit. Alrighty, final one. So this one is Zoffel Piping V-Wired Ribbed Bikini Swimsuit. Now, this one is also one of my favorites. I do consider it to be one of the more full coverage ones, especially with the bottoms. The bottoms aren't as thin. The booty area does have more coverage. It's, it's light, it's easy, it's fun, it's not too sexy, so if you need to be a little bit more conservative, this bathing suit is great while still having that modern style, whether it's the V-wire here. Now, I do have to say this V-wire is one of the more uncomfortable V-wired bathing suits I have in terms of sitting down. Now, I also noticed that the wire, as you can see, just started poking through after its second wash probably yeah second wash um so that's a little bit concerning to me but again for nine dollars or thirteen dollars you can buy another one next year um and by that time by next year this style will probably be out and a new style will probably be in so it kind of works to your advantage and that's the nice thing about Sopple is 
The bathing suit prices allows you to switch your styles out regularly without breaking the bank. So here is this piping V-wired ribbed bikini. I do like the ribbed stuff and now it ties in the back and it has a thicker strap for extra support for heavier chest setted women again. So also adjustable, which I love. Huh. As you can see, it is quite flattering and green is my color. So this one is for sure a keeper for me. And as I mentioned before, you can't return bathing suits to Zoffel. And probably the shipping would cost just about as much as you bought the stuff for. So at the end of the day, it's not worth it. So if you're not gonna use it, donate it, give it away, you know, do something good for the day. So again, overall, I have to say, I was very impressed by the bikinis that I ordered. I was a little bit worried due to the fact that they were so inexpensive. Um, but at the end of the day, it turned out pretty good. Now, I would say that I have three out of those seven that I would wear more regularly. And the other few would be either in more intimate moments, just because I'm not as big of an under boob person, um, but some people love it, including my boyfriend. So, so overall, good experience. The shipping time did take a long time and the customer service was not my favorite. So if you have a trip planned or if you have some kind of excursion plan where you want a new bathing suit, go ahead and order it maybe a month, a month and a half out just to be safe. Um, but again, overall, it was, it was a great experience. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and look for my comments below. I will leave links to everything just in case you decide to buy them. But please check out my other videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.